I want to show everybody some results of the pasture that we have that we use the soil care microbes on. So right now it's about mid-March and so you'll see it's still cold. The trees are just barely summer starting to bud but it's still pretty early in the season. So this pasture we have actually put through the years three applications of microbes on it, the soil care microbes, and then we have seeded it with some rye grass. We've put some cover crops in here. Um, we have not seeded it in the fall or the spring. Uh, we actually just have let it grow and had those microbes in the soil. So this is what it looks like right now. No fertilizer, no weed spray. This is just having those good microbes in the ground. And I want to show you, like, look at how nice the, the grass is growing here. And what we have noticed is that the healthier that our soil is, the more the weeds and, and the bad plants, they don't want to grow. Like we're just getting a lot of this good, healthy grass. And I'll show you if you want to see what it looks like on the other side of the fence line right here. This is the side of the fence that has not had microbes and we have not done any other weed spraying, fertilizing, nothing. So this is what the native soil would look like right now this time of year versus the pasture that has the microbes applied to it. Okay, then I want to show you another really neat thing that happens with the microbes. So they also are in that soil and they help break down nutrients. They get more nutrients to your plants. We actually have horses on this pasture and we've had them the majority of the winter. All right, when the, then the horses, we have them on either the balance or two microbes for the performance horses, the show horses, and then these, because I've got a brood mare out here, I have them on the animal formula called Reboot and I put it in their water just a couple times a week just to keep it through their system because she'll probably foal in the next month. So as those animals have the microbes in their system, those microbes are working and then they'll have some of the microbes in the manure when they pass the manure onto the ground. But what I want you to see right here is this is kind of an area where they like to have their manure and you'll see a little bit of new manure, but then the old manure is actually breaking down. So between the soil care microbes breaking down the manure, the microbes coming from the animal and breaking those down, uh, we don't have a bunch of standing manure out in the pasture. And these horses live out here 24 seven. And look at our ground. We don't have to drag it. We don't have to harrow it. We don't have to, to break it down. Like it is just beautiful and green, which is kind of the cycle of nutrients that you want. Those, the feed goes through your animal, the microbes process it, help those animals best utilize those microbes. And then in turn, the manure breaks down faster. That creates more nutrients in your soil. The little microbes in the soil are breaking them down and it just creates less work, you know, less fuel, less trips over it with a tractor. You know, just, we haven't, we literally haven't done anything to this pasture as far as running equipment over it since we applied the microbes last time back in the fall. And just look how beautiful and how green the pasture is. We got happy horses out here. So this is just us taking really good care of this soil and those little microbes work really well during the wet seasons. They actually travel through the soil in water. Water is your carrier. So during the rainy seasons, you're definitely gonna have better results than during the drought, but in the drought year, like last year, this pasture still produced grass and the horses still had feed off of it and it still thrived. I wanna show you something that's really common in the area where we live. So this is actually our neighboring pasture. So I'll show you, this is our pasture fence right here. So yesterday the neighbors come in and burn this off for weed control and then it does put some nutrients back in the ground uh, from the from the fire but anyhow they burned their whole pasture right here so then I'm going to walk back through the ditch on this side and I'm going to show you comparison of this and then what our pasture looks like here on the other fence line. So this is where I showed you just a few minutes ago so you can see the burn area there at the neighbors and so a couple things about the soil care microbes, they even come over and 
told us that they were going to burn, but they weren't real concerned about our property being burned because you can see how green it is just looking over from across the fence. And so that's one of the benefits to not having to burn and putting those soil care microbes on. Our horses over here had forage and they had green growing all through the whole winter. And then as soon as we've had some rain this spring, the grass has just completely taken off. So you see what the pasture looks like here. So really for us, there was just no need to have to go and burn and kind of reset our ground and start over. It's like the more that we use these soil care microbes, just let them work in the ground over time, you can see that we've just got a really good, what we call a microbiome, which is just the living organisms in the soil. You can just see what a difference it makes long term and just in the overall soil health and condition of the pasture. No need to burn this one, no need to mow it. We don't weed spray it. We don't even fertilize it. And this is what we've going on. We've got going on here. And it's actually in the thirties, we had almost some freezing temperatures last night and our pasture still looks like this. We haven't even gotten to the warmer part of the spring where the Bermuda grass is gonna start taking over. So I can only imagine how good this is gonna look, but every single season, we just see improvements to this pasture with just the soil care microbes. And so you can ask us how to get those for your pastures, lawns. They work on crops, home gardens. They're organic, they're all natural, and they're healthy for, for humans, for animals, for your soil. It's just a really good long-term, all natural program that we can definitely get you into. So visit our website for more information. It is www.cweliteCowhorses.com and let us help your pastures end up looking like this in time. So we are gonna show you a little bit of kind of in-depth life cycle here in the microbiome of the soil. So he's actually gonna peel up kind of a, an old decomposing pile of manure here. And this is actually what you wanna see. You actually want to see the organisms moving around okay you can see little critters in there so you can see some of the some of the worms anytime you got earthworms or you've got you got bugs in here good bugs breaking things down in your soil you know that you've got good microbiome you've got your soils doing really good and then the other thing i want you to see is right down here you can actually see what kind of looks like some little web or kind of like little almost kind of little threads white threads inside that soil and that's actually the myocoral fungi and those actually transmit nutrients throughout your soil so that's really awesome to have that you've got to have really good soil in order to have that going on and you'll see right here we got a lot of little bugs and roly polies going on in here just a lot of a lot of insect activity breaking down this soil. That's another sign you have really, really good soil. So here's another little pile that we turned over here. So you can actually really see in this one too, some more of the, the kind of white, almost kind of thread-like fungi in here. But you can just see how everything's breaking down. We got good organic matter going on here in the soil good, healthy soil. One thing that you'll see here is all the little roly polies. We got the little bugs breaking down the manure and they're in the soil. So then this is another thing to remember. If you put out herbicides or you put out pesticides on your ground, then you're actually gonna kill these little critters that are actually doing a great job breaking down the organic matter. So that's another sign that you can tell that your soil is really healthy and we don't have the, the chemicals here killing off the little critters here that are breaking down the manure and breaking down the soil. So just have that as another note to remember as far as, as being organic and being all natural and keeping everything healthy. This is the result. I think Clay's going to show you the 
the benefits here of being organic and all natural. <laughs> He's so terrible. <laughs> A little humor in your day for you. <laughs>